All right, Knights of Apollo, welcome back to our Kingdom Come playthrough. This is episode three. We're right where we left off. We snuck out of Townburg. We're headed to Scallets to find and bury our parents. Uh, so one thing I wanted to mention really quickly, and I'll, I'll try not to mention it ever again, uh, just because most people don't like hearing about technical issues. Uh, but I've noticed in the last two episode, uh, last two episodes of Kingdom Come, the the cutscenes have kind of been stuttering a little bit. It's not horrible, but it's definitely noticeable. I've tried many things to fix it. I've updated my graphics card driver. I've tried playing in 1080p. I lowered the graphics a little bit. I turned off VSync, and it doesn't seem to go away. Again, it's super. It's not super obvious, but now that I probably, probably you know, now that I brought it up, maybe you'll see it. Um, but I will do everything I can to fix it. I really didn't want to de to delay the playthrough because of some technical issue. So if you guys ever had this, six, you know, this happened to you and you fixed it, let me know. Any kind of any kind of advice would be would be great. Um, but yeah, we are we are back, and that's the last I'm gonna bring up of the uh, technical issue. I think there's actually gonna be a cutscene coming up here soon as we get closer to Scallet. So maybe it's better. I don't know. I haven't really. Yeah, here we go. Hopefully it's better. Yeah. You'll have to wait for me here, friend. Uh. Better to keep going on my own. It's not too bad. I can't imagine being Henry here, you know, going back to the village that you've only lived in. You know, this is all you know of the world, and it's completely burned down. The people, I'm sure you would know most of the people killed here. It's a small town. It'd be pretty surreal, pretty surreal experience. everywhere the sacred shrine <laughs> god I bet it would stink so bad dude so bad Okay, so there's a little bit of uh, lag there. Again, that's the last I'll mention it, but Jesus. yeah. I know he's disgusted by all these bodies here, but I'm about to loot them all. <laughs> so when I'm looting these bodies, one thing I'm looking for, I'm not really, I don't really care about the food because one, um, it's so easy to get food. And two, oh, you can't loot here. Two, um, they, I don't know. It's just not, it's not worth it. They're not worth that much gold. And every time I loot a body, I get this notification about finding my parents. It's like the game's like, hey, can you stop looting people right now and search for your parents? Oh, here we go. Bandages and gold. That's what I'm looking for. We should, uh, can we also take... Are these, like, flowers over here we can pick here? Oh, yeah, gather. Dandelions. That was a weird little scene there. Alright, Danny Lines, that's nice. Anybody else have bandages? We'll just check a couple more bodies. I don't want this to be a looting simulator. Okay, that looks about it. So we'll head back. Uh, also, I think I have a shield. So I should probably equip the shield. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I know I said I didn't really want to go with shield and sword playthrough, but since I have it, I might as well use it. Okay. I don't think there's anything... I don't think there's much to loot here. And speaking of looter... What's that? Look at this. Hey. We got a looter. Our first combat experience. So armed combat. Basically, at the start here, we're not going to be very good at it. So I'm well, just going to slash and hack. The pig turns up willingly for. The uh, excuse me? Yo. Would you call me? Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. 
Oh, you're surrendering, huh? Release him unconditionally. Let him go disarmed. All right, we'll let him go disarmed. You're not going anywhere armed. Leave your weapon on the ground and get lost. What's to be done? Get out of here. Scum. Give me your, give me your sword. It'll be worth something. Noble Harry. Her Noble Henry. Call him Harry. Here we go. All right. So I think my um my first playthrough <laughs> I didn't have him super honorable. How did I think about it? Can I sleep here? No t no can't delay, no time to lose. Oh really? Okay. Now I know we leveled up, but I'm gonna hold on to that level real quick. Oh god. Oh jeez. Yeah, we're not gonna use, we're not gonna spend my points yet. I guess we could. Eh, let's just go ahead and level up. I don't know why I'm holding on to it. I guess I don't. know. I wonder if like XP stacks or something, you can get something really good. Here we go, speech. So final offer. I think that's like for haggling. Yeah, trader loses patience. When a trader loses patience, patience when you're done haggling, you get one more chance. Now we're, that's it's easy. Haggling's easy. Increase your speech level plus three when talking to nobles. And then there's low brow or low low born, not low brow, low born. Uh, that's plus three when talking to commoners. I'm actually gonna talk. I'm gonna use this to cop uh, to talking to um, uh, you know wealthy people, nobles and whatnot. So. I feel like you can get more out of them than the, than the uh, commoners, if you know what I mean. Okay, so let's keep going. Keep looking for loot. Or other looters. There we go, some bodies here. Oh yeah, Groshin. So glad I checked him. And guys, ooh, an axe. It's actually worth a good amount. It all adds up. I, especially when I have that DLC with the, um, you can like rebuild the city. I think we already checked him. You need a lot of gold for that. Okay, so we got some bodies over here. No gold. Bread. Oh, jeez. Sweet Jesus. It's the charcoal burner. The charcoal burner. I like how he shows, like, sympathy for the charcoal burner, but, like, I'm sure he knew everybody in this town. God, those bodies hanging is just so gross and eerie. Bandages or gold, that's all I want. Let's go check out this burnt up house. You know, sometimes you just gotta check these things. I don't know if we can even go in here, but if we can, there might be like a chest or something. You never know. You never know. Nothing. Okay. That was a waste of time. Oh wait, there's somebody up here on the road. Hey! No, leave me be. Hey, no. come here. Come here. Hey, hey, no, no, I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to you. Come here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> Were you looting bodies? <laughs> Unarmed combat? Are you. No, we're not. <laughs> no. We don't play fair. No. God in heaven. Okay. No. Okay, surrender. Please surrender. No. Oh, you reached a new level of sword. Yes. Alright, uh pay yes, per yes, have a pay. Pay up, and I'll let you go. Pay up. To be done. Nice. Now get out of here. Shoo. I've yet to kill anyone in the game, guys. <laughs> How about that? 
All right, let's put our sword away. All right, so we actually, yeah, we, we've leveled up our sword fighting. I don't know if we can actually, let's see, uh, player. We can hide the info. So, skills. Skills, no? Combat. And our sword skill went up. But I don't think, yeah, we, we didn't, like, learn anything new. Level one, okay. Well, we're better sword fighters now. So that's good. The level one sword fighter. That's fun. Let's go back to the road. Can I collect any of these? Oh, marigold. Nice. Might as well collect some of these herbs here. Just try to get as much skills going as possible, you know? Poppy. What did these poor souls ever do to them? That's a good point. I don't even know if that is a skill of uh, gathering herbs. Oh, bandage. Okay. It all checks out. Let's keep going. When you draw a weapon, it causes fear amongst villagers. Oh, Groshan and Bandage? This guy's a jackpot here. Thank you. Red. Onion. Hey, who's there? Hey, who What's goes there? Well, I never. The pig turns up willingly. Ah! <laughs> oh. Ow. Oh. oh. What happened there? Come on, surrender. Surrender, dude. Cut. Excuse me? Where'd you well, go? <laughs> There you go. Surrender. Yes. Yes. Alright, so unfortunately we can't force him, like, to pay us. But we'll, um... We'll let him go Sorry. disarmed. Leave your weapon and go. I agree. I agree. Of course you do. And get out of here. Give me your weapon. Go. Nice. Uh, so our health is down. I don't think we can... I think we have to sleep, right? It's like the only thing we can do to, to get it back up. Fast travel has up, has been unlocked. Nice. And we are closer to the town. Now, we could have killed him. You know? We could have killed him and, and took his stuff, but... Right. Henry is a noble, noble lad. And unfortunately, this is blocked off. We're going to have to find a different path. We can go through this town. We probably should. Wait, is that a... Do I see a body over here? Hold on. Is this a body? No, no, no. Those are just... Okay. It's weird. It's just... It's just a plant, but the way it looked it looked like a body. Okay. Anyways, uh. let's go. So I don't really think there's gonna be anything in here. Um, let me check these. No, there's nothing there. Nothing of value here. We could try eating some food. Let's see. Real quick, let's let's eat some food and see if this helps with anything. What does this do? Grows everywhere as a weed, most likely grassy slopes. Okay, you can eat dandelions. Um, they're 100% edible. Pretty good in your salad, too. Um, but yeah, let's go to food and see if we can... If we eat this, if this helps our health, I don't think it will. What does this do? We'll add 30 health and dispel uh, a hangover effects. 
Okay. So this helps. We have two of them. They're worth 35. And they'll help how much of our health? 30 health? Hmm. I don't want to waste it. We have a little bit more than 30, right? Oh, jeez, I have gluttony. That's not good. Yeah, I forgot about that. Should only eat when you're hungry. Oh, there's a bandage. If I bandage myself... I'm, like, relearning the game here, guys. If I bandage myself... Um... Does that heal? Or does it only stop bleeding? Stop. Strip and clean linen used to stop bleeding. Okay, it just stops bleeding. Okay. Well, we'll keep going. Uh, we'll check out this area over here. You've discovered fish trap? Oh, there's a person right there. <laughs> Hold on. Who's there? Can I sneak past this guy? I mean, I could just fight him. I'm just worried because I have the, the sluggish thing. Oh, he, he's gone. Hold on. I don't remember this at all. Just kind of sneak around. See, I need to, I need to do more sneaking. Try to upper sneak. Oh yeah, that dude's decked out in armor. Oh, there, there's two of them. One has a shield. Yeah. I don't have a good feeling about this. Okay, we're gonna go. <laughs> I'm not confident enough in my fighting here. I do want to come back here though. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave and come back. They look like they're decked out in armor though, and like pretty confident compared to the looters who just have like civilian clothes. And plus, we've taken damage, and it's just I don't want to risk dying here. But I do want to go back to that area and clear it out. I assume this is where we have to go. I'm pretty sure. Such an e eerie part of the, the game where it's just pouring down rain. And there's just bodies everywhere. Oh, what, what kind of flower do we have here? Oh, chamomile. I love chamomile. That's sage. Nice. Just kind of collecting all of this stuff. Alright, what do we got here? Let's check out some of these buildings. Nothing. Nothing. Isn't this where we, like, saved Teresa? I wonder if Teresa's over here. Teresa? Are you still here? Oh, man. This has just been ransacked. I wonder if I could wait. Can I... Oh, I can't wait. There's no time to delay. We must go. Because I wanted to wait to try to get the sluggish trade off of me. Let me digest the food a little bit. Okay, nothing nothing here. Man, there's nothing. Wait, are those people out there? No, those are like chopped down trees. Alright, let's keep going. Stay on the road. Stay on the road. Alright, so we're getting to another section of the town. We could go into this area and look around, but I just feel like it's not going to be worth it. I mean, we could, though. Can we? Can we hop this fence? 
No. We'll just keep moving along. Keep on moving. Oh, yeah. We're getting there. Weeping Willow over there. Man, you don't, you don't really realize how big the town is. Like, look at all of that. All right, let's keep going towards the objective, though. Check in here real quick. There's a bed, but we can't sleep in it. Dang. Over here, there's nothing. Some wood. That's no good to us. Woodcutter's camp. Nice. Okay. This is where we're getting close. We're gonna go we're gonna go off the path a little bit here. There's some new flowers over here. What do we got? What is this? Oh, more marigold. Oh, herbalism. What's this? Oh, no, no, no. It's marigold. I guess it's nothing. So there is a skill for collecting this stuff. We might as well just occasionally grab stuff. I'm not going to spend, you know, forever just picking flowers and stuff. Ooh, what flowers over here? Hold on. Somebody's gr oh. Take care of here first. Oh. Going from first. That's first right. Bury my parents. Game's not letting us go over there. This is still the linear kind of quest that you have to do. Wait, what's this? Oh, interesting. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Got any chest? Any gold? Ooh, yes. Here we go. Alright, now this is gonna be an easy lockpick. I can't even find. Okay, it's right here. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Oh, we got it. Roshan, just one? Oh, it's seven. It's seven. Okay. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right. Um, I think that's it, though. Close the door. Out of respect for the building. All right. Let's make our way this way. I guess we should get back onto the main road. Can I not? Okay, whatever. Go up here. Can I not jump over this? There we go. Yeah, the main road's over here. What's this blue flower? Danny line. Well, what's the blue one? Nah, the world will never know. Maybe it's nothing. Oof, that lightning. Is this blocked as well? Okay. That's blocked off as well. Let's keep traveling. I feel like we went the wrong way or something. Like, are we missing something? I don't remember having to walk so far. Oh, no, no. I think this is it up here. Yeah, the, yeah. Oh, wait. There's a person over here. Hold on. I think there is. Or am I seeing stuff? Oh, yeah. That's a person. Hold on. Might as well join them in the loot process. Hey. What are you doing? Answer to my prayers. Oh. oh, nice warfare one up. Strength and a new perk is available. Um, 
Let him go disarm. You're free. Leave your weapon and go. So be it. And get out of here. Give me your bat. Your bludgeon. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get so much stuff to sell. Hopefully. Okay, um, so we got that. Let's go check up our our uh, leveling up here. Strength. So we have two things we can get. Stronghold or Gravedigger. Stronghold, block an opponent's strike with your shield will cost you 30% 30 per 30 less stamina. Or Gravedigger, carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost you any stamina. Uh, I, I don't really... I mean, Gravedigger is good for like hiding bodies if you're going stealth-like. I mean, that might be useful since I said we're kind of going stealth-like. But I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm really enjoying... <laughs> the combat so like just getting straight into people's faces so i'm gonna go with stronghold okay cool and i think that's that's it so yeah all right so we're a little bit stronger now oh boy yeah finally finally we made it you didn't run like me Dang, let me take his money. Ooh. I'll be taking that. You won't be needing that. Oh, man. This is where it gets sad. This is where it gets sad, dude. Uh, I can't do this. This guy looks like he's got money. Oh, he does. And he's got a salami? It's worth eight? Salt? Dried meat? This guy's got a lot. Thank you, sir. As I walk over his body. Rest in peace, brother. Rest in peace. A lot of dead horses, man. Why did you have to kill the horses? In the end, you were here. You didn't run away. Like me. Yeah. No groshing. Tragic. Just checking these alleyways real quick. Let's go in here. Nothing. What about in here? Nothing. We'll go around this way. Oh no. Let's climb up here. Look around. It looks pretty clear to me. Yeah, there's nothing. It's always good to check, though. It's always worth it, you know? Oh, no. Pretty sure I checked these bodies. Dude, I can feel what's gonna happen, and I hate... No! Why? Not you. It wasn't supposed to be you, Bianca. I'll find the bastards that did this to you. I'll find them. I swear it. Why? I'll take care of my parents, and then I'll come back for you. I won't leave you like this. <laughs> She's got a save on it. Give her a ring. Take this as a keepsake to remember you by. Okay. Jeez, that's tragic, dude. Tragic. <sighs> Why? Why must they kill Bianca? She was a good lass. All right, now we gotta find my parents. Jeez, this is just all too sad. Some bread. Oh, here we go.
Why did he do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. I'll find the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. First, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Mm. Right in the fields, dude. Oh, who did this? Alright, was there a dog? Find a spade. Might as well loot my parents, right? <laughs> Dried fruit. Groshin. <laughs> Won't be needing that. Oh man. So sad. So sad. Oh, where is the spade? We need to find one. Um, we could try searching up here. remember where it was I just look up here I have, I have a feeling it's up here mm. man look at this completely burnt down the castle was burnt down <sighs> the blacksmith area the smithy or whatever back over here my home dude my home not too long ago I was eating here and enjoying my life excited to see Bianca uh, this is locked again interesting I wonder if we can open it again and okay yeah, I feel like we're getting better at lockpicking. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You reached a new level in lockpicking. Yeah, there's nothing in here, but it doesn't matter. We got the experience. Okay, so no spade here. This is a good place. We're gonna lock it here. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna like it here, but there's no spade. Oh, this is a cool area. This really was probably the best area to live in the town. You know, you're closest to the castle and everything like that. Dang it, dude. If only, if only both parents were near the castle when this all went down. They'd be alive right now. Right, let's try looking around here. There is a dog barking. I feel like we have to go to that. Just looking for a shovel. Let's go to that dog. Is he? Oh, there it is. Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! 
What's going on? It's a mistake. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Mutt. Isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Uh oh. <laughs> Should I really yell at him after I looted the butcher? <laughs> I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing? What are you doing? Came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Jesus, dude. Um... Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? I'm already thinking about the next girl, I dude. Like the humans wanted to... You meant to violate her. God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? Dude. They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. What a jerk. How did you manage to get away? How do you think? I ran. Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by? Dude, this guy needs to die, all right? My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that... And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? You know, you're an unbelievable piece of shit. Dude, I will knock the shit out of you, dude. Okay, enough with that. What is that? Every time he just Here. Like if you get too close Dude just give me the shovel. Just want to bury my parents, you piece of. Ah. Ah. All right, you bastard. You're gone. Get out of here. That's right. Turn tail and run, you bastard. You jerk. <laughs> uh. All right, let's go bury the parents here. Definitely been taking some damage. All right, let's go bury some. Let's go make some holes under this beautiful tree. Over here. Start digging. Can we keep them? Oh. 
Let's get to it. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Tell him, Runt. I cut the bastard down. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! No, I'm pretty sure there's no way of killing this guy. Bob! <laughs> Come here. I'm gonna try to beat him. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now... For the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you help forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> <laughs> the games are over. Go! Disperse this rebel! I like have my old clothes on. <laughs>
Oh, the dog is still there. Nice. Man, it's been so long, I don't remember the exact details of these, these cutscenes. Isn't this Rate? Well, guys, unfortunately, well, well, we'll keep this going. Oh, I guess we'll we'll do this a little bit, but we are gonna end it here once we get through this little mission here. Save your parents. I'm having another nightmare. What? No, 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 no! Come here. Come here. No. <laughs> Little nightmare that you just, I guess, died. Help? Nightmares end. Henry, there's work to be done. to be done. Wake up, Henry. It's past sunrise. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Bianca? Hallelujah. <laughs> I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? <sighs> Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you, but you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I, I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. A few delirious days later. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. Um, how did you find me? How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. 
I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Hmm. What in the world were you doing in Scalit? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Dang. She seemed so happy. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you know, she's got nothing to live for. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? Sir Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Mm, I'm tired. Uh, there we go. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later. <laughs> good morning to you. How's the invalid today? I oh, haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live. But my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Where am I? And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill. My uncle's Miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the Lower Castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzik. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. All right. So there we go. I think we're at a point where we can uh, save it. I assume... It automatically saves. Yeah, that should be... Okay. Because we were in the bed. I kept using the save uh, drinks or whatever. The snaps or whatever. So I need to, um, you know, watch out for that. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. We are uh, we're getting there. It's It's been a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. And we will have a new episode very soon. Thanks, guys. And I'll see you next time.